I, well, that was fun. Yeah, yeah that, that was a blast. Yeah, it was a blast. It, it's it's really been fun. To, you know, you meet these guys and then you come in and you see and they're they're just real folks that oh, are yeah. out here oh, trying yeah. to help other people oh, make yeah. a difference. You know, hey, oh, yeah. hey look, wait, who do we have coming in now, hold here? On, now? Hold on, I, I have a problem with this guy. Okay, yeah, I don't like any anybody better looking than me on the stage. <laughs> That's, well, and bigger, <laughs> and he's got both of those. Come on, come in, on come over on here. In. Let's. Uh, <laughs> No, folks, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Go, we didn't go get a model out of out of L.A. casting. You know? He just came, have he a seat just, here. He just came from Newport Beach, and the Ooh. sun's out, or it's coming out. It's trying to come out. Yes, okay, it is. Okay, so, so who are we speaking with today? Christian Kamaya. Christian, yes, and uh, you're you're a little bit of a crypto expert yourself. Yeah, I've been in virtual currencies and cryptocurrencies for a long time, but most people don't know cryptocurrencies did almost back 30 years by now. The oh, cryptocurrencies yes. are 29 years old. The first cryptocurrency was Digicash. Okay, yeah. And then there was a virtual currency, the Linden dollar afterwards right. in, in the game world. So I, I come from a space where we did early peer-to-peer -peer systems back okay. in the 90s. We tried to... I love his voice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, where, where are you where's from? Where's that accent from? The accent is from Germany, and I tried to leave it there. It followed for some reason. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, something that has been interesting yeah. for us, uh, like a folk we, uh, gentleman that we'll have on the show a little bit later today, and he's from the UK. Right. We've got a whole lot, and in, in the, the first uh, cryptocurrency that came out of the UK was Electronium. Yeah, and and which I invested in full disclosure, um, but we're seeing more and more, and there's there's getting to be quite a push out of there. Matter of fact, there's a gentleman by the name of John Core, and I don't know if right. you know John. He's big in the banking industry. Yeah, and uh, John is over there saying, "Listen, we're going to take back the financial hub from New York." <laughs> you know, that's so, cute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's our honorary redneck. You know? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah we, exactly. we declared him an honorary redneck. Yeah. But I mean, why is it you think that a lot of the European countries and, of course, in Asia and, and so on and so forth seems to be embracing crypto a whole lot more than the U.S.? And that, that concerns me. Yeah, so the U.S. is an island. Right. right, so you got very few influences. Okay. Right, so you, you, you can be a lawyer in the United States, and all right. you ever do is you be an ambulance chaser in Los Angeles. For, for that <laughs> right. right. So, in Europe, we, we have a lot of different regulations to deal with. It's very complicated, right? So, so when I got off law, law school, immediately was confronted with like a dozen different yeah. law systems. So, to unify that, it, it takes a bigger picture. Oh, sure. Right. Oh, sure. So it's, it's it takes some give and take too. It takes some give and take, and so. The European Union overall has a little bit more experience of coming together, like creating a common currency, big feet, oh. right? So you got to put the systems in place to streamline that, create government governance around it, create reliability around it. One of the first speeches I ever gave that was back in high school was around creating the euro. Right, and so that is many moons oh, ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, right? and it took a long time, but so you got some experience there. I'm already an e-citizen of Estonia now. Oh yeah. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And so you you will be able to vote this way, way. it's gonna become your cash system eventually. Well, and so I, the I US is fairly fair, fairly much behind. The it. US is kinda of, yeah. kinda of cowboy ups itself, huh? It does it's not yes. really doesn't play yes. well with others. Yeah. yeah. We, and sometimes we don't mind coming in and, and, and yeah. rescuing others to a certain degree. So, yeah. But yeah, we always go back, back to, to Yeah, well, we don't necessarily have all those influences that are readily available in, in Europe that are just right well, in see, front I, of you. I, I personally think that you know our federal government advocated our financial systems a long time ago. Sure. And so, you know, uh, it's funny we were talking with uh, uh, someone that was presenting here, did a real good job because they were talking about estate planning and that's, right. that's something I'm been formally trained in as a certified financial planner years ago but and they did a great job on that but we were talking about cryptocurrencies and they were given to the oh the fraud and oh the this and oh the that right. and i said look the reality in america is the big banks don't want to don't want to let go yeah it's, it's somewhat of a ponzi scheme if you look at this yeah. like if you oh, did yeah. the same thing without a license would be a ponzi scheme <laughs> if you have a bank license it's not a ponzi scheme <laughs> right so if you take the position that um money is the language of trade well what right. you're really doing is intervening in in this uh, cryptocurrency trend, yeah. if you want to call it that, as a free speech violation. It's like, I should be able to talk to you any which way I want to. Mm -hmm. if, that's, if I'm talking to you in Ether or in, yeah. in any other virtual currency that I want to, why should I be put Let me, ask you, this, let yeah, me, let me exactly. ask you this question, because Drew and I have this conversation a lot. And you know, we have some people that, that are looking forward to uh, 
to regulation. They're, they're going to see that that right. legitimizes cryptocurrency. What they cons- miss is that oh, blockchain yeah. is the best tool for regulation. Yes, yes. It's the mo- yes. It's transparent. Yeah. You have yeah. to have a stake in it in yes. order to participate. But what could be more governing? Right? I so agree. But the concern I have is I'm afraid that the U.S., because of their penchant for regulation and legislative monopoly power of various industries, and, and it we're, in fact, we're not free enterprise anymore, we're legislated capitalism. Right. That in the, in the promotion of continuing legislated capitalism, we're going to get behind the eight ball on this cryptocurrency, and we're going to lose our status as reserve currency around the world, and we're going to be looking back at 2020, 2018 as, man, did we miss the boat. There is a good likelihood. The blockchain doesn't exist in the context of government. Right. Government exists in the context of blockchain. So it's, it's always a fallacy to, uh, to semantically put something out there like the government is regulating blockchain. No, yeah. the government is regulating citizens. Yes. Every government yes. is only their regulating access, citizens. Their access to exactly, so really what they're doing is, and that's what we need to get out in communication, is, hey, you're limiting the freedom of your people. You're not limiting this technology one bit. The technology is just going to happen someplace else. Right, yeah. You know, it's without participation of your dear citizens. That's right? exactly right. And that, that is part of the semantics. Concern. Because that's, globally, the world is doing this, and the U.S. Yes, is not going to be able to control yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, Bitcoin, as you know, has now the computing power that's 500 times bigger than what Google has. Yeah. If you turn, the only way to, to turn off Bitcoin is to turn off the internet. And as soon as yeah. you turn it back on, Bitcoin is back. Yeah, that's, so, right. Yeah. So, that's right. So uh, it, it's here to stay. And again, it, it's just an example of the blockchain. It's yes. just the most prominent example of the blockchain. But the currency piece, to me, is honestly the least interesting part. Okay. Because every blockchain, as more or less a side effect, could and will might ha- might have a currency attached to it. Correct. But what the more important part is is, is the decentralization oh, part. Sure. You bet. Oh, of, yeah. That decentralized ledger yeah. is huge. Right. Yeah. So huge. and that comes down to governance, that comes down to infrastructure, distribution of assets, yeah. creating efficient markets. Yeah. To this day, we don't actually have a real estate market, right? Yeah. What we have is all these real estate silos that are controlled by very few people and uh, by uh, a few different yeah. software systems, but we don't have a decentralized oh, yeah. real estate oh, yeah. market, which we sh- should have. Which well, would and be and more the sad efficient. thing is, we have a common friend, Jim, Yeah, and his. we were having lunch with him one day, and, and his wife is from... Iran, Iraq, yeah. somewhere over yeah. there. And and he said, you know, we we're having dinner the other day and she said, you know, y'all crack me up in the US. You know, you talk about how free you are. Yeah. She says, you all aren't free at all. Right. She says, you know, the, you, this is regulated and that's regulated. You can't do this and you, you know, you right. can't even buy a piece of land and go build your own home on it. Yeah. yeah. Without getting permits or yeah. without it, you Homeowners know, association. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, just just a whole plethora of things. Yeah. So 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 I tell you the other thing that is kind of fascinating and we see the evolution of this and there was a huge acceleration last year right that's where you saw a lot of fraud and I mean you know uh, well I want to say something about this typical theme of fraud I think that has been kind of driven by popular media because (laughs) think about it this way so there's very few people that actually have a digital wallet right now Mm -hmm. so you and you can see how many there's maybe 20 20 some million digital wallets out there on average um, and a user will have five so what does it mean it means that five million people yeah individual globally maybe participate so let's to look at who these people are. Oh, so those people are minors. Yeah. Those people are early participants. Right. They play with the house's money. Right. So not like our Congress people say, it's not mom and pop getting yeah. into the action, investing their life savings. It's people that have been in the space. It's not easy to part- participate in ICOs, you know, no, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and now most ICOs actually exclude specifically US yes. citizens, yes. as we already know. So, so all this talk to about freedom. needing to regulate this to protect the general citizen, it's, it's frankly, it's a lot. Right? Yeah. It's not true. That's right. Like half that congressman, please try to participate. Yeah. It's like, yeah. hmm, I can. It's like, yeah, you're protected very well. You can yeah. participate. Yeah. It, yes. It's more the powers that be that don't want to lose control because right. yeah. with this decentralization, yeah. it is control. We know who the largest lobbyists are in Washington. Okay. So they're, they're, none of the consumer agencies has, a, has an office on K Street and yeah. is lobbying Congress yeah. to intervene. Uh, right, right. We know who those office holders are. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Well, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. So, so let me. Uh, you said you've been in the space for a while, right. and 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 you go in. I take it you buy and in, invest in ICOs and pre ICOs, and do you do some trading as well. Or? Um, 
less on the trading side, so we are more, more on the venture so, side. So we have two sides to our businesses. One, we look at the existing infrastructure, so we were early allocators in the infrastructure place, so Ethereum as an example, mm -hmm. protocol place, and then we're looking to help companies along that are either trying to build yet another protocol and or building an application layer on top. So we're looking at insurance platforms to where they're actually building on this pot on that particular protocol that we think are going to be around for some time. Right and building a small application layer and that will then allow everyday people, quote unquote, to, <laughs> yeah. to then actually create an insurance company. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Interesting. It, it, it is, it's amazing to see where this will go. It's in its infancy. This is the internet 1993, yeah. <laughs> you know. And yeah. so it, it's really fun watching it and meeting other people that actually understand. Right. We, listen, one of the things we do, we're not experts in this. We're merely the information hub and we get experts from all around the world. And I'll, I have to tell you, I look forward to We're, uh, we're putting him on our list. We're yeah, calling this boy back, back on the show. Yeah. Yeah. As the list. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll call him back again. <laughs> yeah. You because know, uh, see, lately we've been going to London a lot, right. and then you know we had somebody in Toronto, and then we had and we had some uh, Brit that was living in Missouri, but now we have the Newport Beach guy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with an accent. Woman. I mean, uh, yeah. Who brought his accent with him? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I tell you what. Thank you so much for coming sure. in and stopping in here. We'll be in touch. We look forward to seeing you. Appreciate it.